So this dance group is from where? Montreal. And what's it called? Expression. What does it mean to you? Family. Passion. Family. Passion. Family, love, passion, dance. No. Communication of the art that we love. Love and dance and friends. Now I understand your name is? Sybil. And you are? Regine. Now you're the Montreal choreographer, right? Because yes. you guys are from Montreal. And you we're the co-founders of the company. And you're the co-founders. Yes. And you're yeah. based in Toronto. Yes. And you're based in Montreal. Montreal, yes. So how long have you been doing this? Expression started in 2003, so that's about 13 years now. And how, how did you inspire to, to do it? Well, we were looking for a dance school when we got in Montreal, and we didn't find anything that really inspired us to stay in, because we had a different way of communicating Haitian folklore. We wanted something that mixed jazz and modern dance, because I had done more jazz and modern, and she had done more folklore. Okay. So we wanted to mix those two cultures. And so tell me about Tahitian folklore, because you are like, cap you have a captivating choreography, okay? The way the moves are going and everything else. Tell me about it. Help me understand it. Haitian folklore? You can talk about that. Well, there's that. a lot of different rhythms in Haitian traditional dances. So there's like 10, 12 different rhythms. So it gives you opportunity to create on different rhythms, different, um, each dance has a different signification. So, and then every rhythm you can wear a different color. So some are more toned down, the others are more powerful, others are more joy joyful, so yeah. <laughs> okay. And then you combine it with modern contemporary Yes, moves. exactly. Yeah. You guys are like, awesome, that's fire state, <laughs> yeah, I was going to leave. We wanted to open it to a more international public <laughs> because we have more people here in, Mon well, in Montreal that do modern and ballet. So we wanted to open it to other people because we also have African uh, dancers in our troupe dance I company. I noticed, yeah. We have a Moroccan yeah. dancer. We're going to talk yeah. to you in a minute. <laughs> we have a Moroccan girl also. She didn't make the trip, but she's also in the company. And we have a, uh, a girl that's from Quebec as well, who grew up in Haiti, but she's dancing with us. Great. Yeah. Let's go to the Zachary moves there. What was shaking there, girl? Like, I noticed that all the moves were really original, yes. but I noticed in particular that one. Yes. Well, how long have you been dancing? Um, two years. Two years? Yes. Where? In expression group. Really? And mm -hmm. that's where you picked it all up? Yes. But how long have you been dancing? <laughs> Four years. Four years? Now, what has inspired you all to dance in the first place? Was it when you were younger, you saw someone, or? Me, when I was younger, I always dance. I always loved to dance, so I was dancing in my country because I came here uh, only five years ago. So when I came here, I, I decided, I knew I had to continue my dancing. So I found this amazing group, and I started to dance with them, like, since five years ago, and I'm here, and we're gonna go even. And as, as a shy person myself, I always wanted to dance and find a way to express myself so I started dancing when I was three and when I got to Montreal I stopped for a while and then uh, I found Expression and I was like I saw them on stage too and I was like oh my god they're I so amazing join. and I want to join yeah. so I did and since then it's like a dream come true. Yeah. Okay. Now um, you have a, a group that you're starting in Toronto correct? Well I just moved a year and a half ago and right. I left all my beautiful friends there so I need to start something. Of course, I will bring them back here when I can. Um, I started giving some dance classes. I, there's a lot of another dancer who joined me from Montreal called Ludmia. She's she moved here, so maybe we'll try something together. Okay, while we're bringing her, you've been doing this for what? How many years? Uh, Twelve years. Expression. Twelve years. Yeah. Twelve years. Great. Okay. Yes. So what's That's your name? Mia. Hi, my name is Mia. And why are you inspired to be part of this dance group? Uh, I started dancing back when I was seven years old, so um, from there I came to Montreal, then I found family, then I decided, you know what, family's good, so um, and the food was I started good. dancing, the, everything was good, so I started dancing with them, but unfortunately I had to leave Montreal and come here, so um, she moved first and then I followed, and she followed me, so, <laughs> so maybe we'll so, find yeah, something maybe. To together. I know Regina is looking to progressively build something, so uh, you we we'll never see. know what the future might hold. So okay. Keep so how long will it take for someone who had, say, no dance experience, they're 20ish or 30 or 40, and they wanted to learn this style of dance? Well, there's you know always a way to learn. We yes. start with baby steps, yes. and then slowly you improve and you add more and more and more. Yes. And, you know, but I want to know how to get to the level that you had. <laughs> You were shaking it, like, okay? It takes a lot of time. We we are not doing that all the time, time, but we do that 
dedicate at least five, seven, seven hours, hours per week, week to do that. Wow. So, Great. Um, and also, also taking always the workshops, always improving our you know, skills. So it takes time. And, Last question: Who's some of your inspired dancers? Ooh, like wow. not in the group, but that inspires you to create more to captivating one of my choreography. Dance teacher who was a ballet teacher. Her name is Eileen Erzog, and also. Um, Lavinia Williams, <laughs> Catherine Dunham, Catherine Dunham, and I also follow Alp and Ailey School, the Alp and Ailey Company, which really is an inspiration for me. Also in Haiti, there's a lot of big, good dancers like uh, Vivian Gauthier. So there's a lot of inspiration, yeah. uh, teachers and dancers. So. Great. Okay. Yeah. So more information. Uh, your website would be expression.ca, but be careful. Expression is E-K-S-P-R-E-S-Y-O-N -E dot C-A <laughs> And expression is written in Creole and it means expression, you know, and expressing yourself, express yourself on the stage. And we're also on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> so can I have an, expre an expressive dance move, a uh, posture? Oh. <laughs> I know you're not in costume, but... <laughs> this is our pop. 